That'll do. Great shot. I'm glad you threw a good one because now he goes straight into the intro. What's <laughs> happening, guys? We are out here at Jonesboro, Arkansas. We are at the course, This Side of Heaven, I believe is the this name of it. Heaven. This Side of Heaven for the Jonesboro 2020 one disc golf pro tour elite series event we're going to be going through a practice round today with garrett and jessica beautiful course a lot of big shots out here that you'll see us ripping hole one is just like that 450 basically up the hill and then you guys have a couple different i think this might be only a different basket this is the only short basket and we have a few different uh short tee pads out there so all right let's jump into it well, I already butchered the uh, beginning of this video, guys. But me and Jessica, we just parked it. We threw it to like four feet or something. It should just be tap-ins. Damn. Well, that's one way of starting. Yeah, nice four-footer. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> Had some major putting issues at Vintage. So I'm going uh, to have to grind on the putting a little bit, get the stroke back. I just feel like it's coming out of my hand like a little early. A little early. This is where you want to start, right here. That's how you want yeah. to start your round. Just like a nice like 20 footer. Especially if there's no wind, it's almost like you kind of feel like you got to kind of start off with a birdie on this first yeah. hole. Lately, the wind's been so strong. You, you get a wind break, you better go after it. Yeah, just juice it. Juice it. Hole two. 820 feet it plays i think it plays longer yeah i mean it, in the years prior it's definitely you know the whole shrunken okay so it has gotten tight yeah, yeah i was gonna say because it looks in coverage a lot of people are throwing that high gap to get kind of a lot more distance off the tee yep. you can kind of see the gap right behind us you want to be left if you just shoot straight through the gap and you end up in those trees you got a lot of work you have do. no chance well yeah I guess you could throw like a massive hyzer backside. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> do you ever go this way? Never. No, just Never. juice the gap. I've seen Eagle go left to right, Big Annie, and try to get to the shady part. Oh, but uh, you know that's if the wind's right. Yeah, I might do a little bomb going that way. Interesting. Maybe I'll try one extra. Yeah. Go that okay. Way. Yeah. See, that's so good, but that yeah, gap is so tight. That's gonna be perfect. See, I've been going low. Yep. Low, low kind of just stumps you a little bit and has you a longer up shot. Yeah. But that gap but is just so much tighter. It than is. That. Stick to the game plan. Yeah, see, that's still money. That's yeah, I think, I think that's... Mad with that. I think I'm okay with just that. Oh, Nelly. Keep going. Keep going. That? It'll be interesting to see where that is compared to your other one. Shadow. Right, right, right you on You think you're close? almost hit the mower. Hopefully he's seen it. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad they're actually mowing because the grass down there was getting kind of long and I guess it rained a couple days ago and it's really, really muddy right there and I feel like that's where a lot of people skip. Like if they're, you know, I watching Paul play this hole, he he just throws like a force low, and then he just has it like a skip up. But you weren't getting any skip because it's all mud. So it'll be interesting to see if that dries out before the tournament. The ladies' tee pad is basically up this up this left tunnel, but it looks like they have two options. Left side, which is more likely a right. sidearm. And you're trying to get to like that red 250 marker up there. Yeah, the top. It pinches off on the left side because there's a OB fence. So gotcha. I'm going to be playing the uh, backhand route through the gap. Like it. Yeah. That should be perfect. Yeah, that's great. Jeez, great shot. One and done. One and done. And you've been kind of killing it lately, huh? Not and, doing too bad. And the um, results? You, how, how, are you, how do you feel your season's gone so far? gone a little slow my best finish so far was uh last weekend i got second at the 
Vintage? Where were we? We were at the Vintage. Yep. Yeah, it was my first time playing in Russellville, Arkansas. And um, before that, my best finish was at Las Vegas. I got third. So yeah. hopefully um, it's making me more hungry and I'll come out with a win this weekend. I love it. I don't want something to turn over too much. I think I want to throw this guy. Not a high fine. Dang it. Maybe fairway drive, maybe that wasn't even enough disc. Just from the awkward like standing. Oh yeah. Come on left. Should be alright. Yeah. Oh, so you're right, the over the top and your drive both both. And I would say like if there was a left to right win, maybe you go for it. Yeah, left to right win. Because then it'll carry a little bit more. Yeah, because if I get way over there, you still have a spike kaiser coming in, which I kind of like too. Yeah. So either way, I'm trying to plan for the uh, anywhere short of the red post. And or if it's windy, left to right, I'm going up here, bringing in hyzer. Gotcha. So hopefully get the easy perch. Yeah. Oh, I think I filmed that beautifully too. That was sick. <laughs> Did not give her enough height. Dang. Do it. Lift. Woo. Good line. Not enough juice. One thing I think that's very difficult for cameras to capture. Nice, is just how elevated some of these holes out here are. And uh, you might, you might witness a little bit of an out of breath situation from some of us because it is a lot of walking up and down these hills. Oh, that looks so good. You got hole three here, 435 par three. Pretty straightforward. You just don't want to uh, pull it off to the left over here. We got OB on the fence line, so besides that, it's a pretty uh, gettable hole. It's the one you really want to attack and get there. I'm going with Thunderbird. Down. Looks like it just stayed safe. Dangling trees. Yeah, exactly. It's like one of the few holes I still don't know what to flip the throw on. I think it's just the, uh, I think also that we're trying to figure it out. Going over that little valley that goes, it goes the air box thing. There's weird stuff to do this. Yeah. There you go. It's good. You gotta hit the short grass to skip. That's it right there. You hit the what was that? You don't skip. Right? It drops the last second. It Are you a different tee pad on this one? Yes, sir. Okay. A little guest star. Yeah, well. Oh, I thought I thought you were in. Oh my goodness! You're about to go three for three. Hey. <laughs> Putting with some new putters today. Feeling them out. Yeah, nice.
those starts where you like you can't really be too upset with three pars. Yeah. You're just kind of like, all right, well. Because there's tons of birdies out here. Tons of birdies. Just like, the first three holes are a little tricky. Yeah. Something you'll see as a common theme on this course is some of the cool walkways that they have in between each hole. Having this much land out here that they have, they were able to kind of do this. And I think it, it, may, it makes the experience a little bit nicer. Having these like cool little paths and stuff, just kind of from one hole to the next. Okay, we're on hole four. We're hopefully getting away from these uh, lawnmowers, guys. Sorry if the audio is bad. It seems like we picked the wrong day to film, but this is a bomb. Six, it's, well, it's not a bomb. Well, you're throwing a bomb. It's, not, it's a short hole though. You're going, I'm guessing you're going. Out that way. Yep. And bringing it back to 12 o'clock, hopefully. To Thank just you. try to have an easy Upshot. little yeah. chipper. I like to try to get on the side of the hill if the wind's right. Anywhere out there on the right hand side is good. Is good. Busted right I didn't even know, I didn't even know that tree was in play. Mm, that's OB. How high that was. <laughs> I didn't even think you could reach that tree. Get through. Yeah? Looks like it busted right through the two. Yeah, I don't know what I was just doing there. That's not really my play. Okay. Well, it, that it, like I go that way, but I don't try to fillet it like that. Right. I, I, I just want to get out. That should be money. That should be money. We'll see. Also, I, I forget there's a tailwind. It has been headwind on the floor. There's a tailwind. Beautiful sounds of lawn maintenance. Wow, that was dirty. All right. It was a great shot though. So a lot of people you'll see are gonna end up kind of over in this field. Primary spot Garrett was talking about is up on that hill. And the basket, is it elevated yet? They probably do have it elevated because we can kind of see it. You can see it right there on the hillside. A little left to right, green. And we got a little tailwind action here. Going with a super technical shot. Pulled off to perfection. I think you're gonna have a putt. And I think you're going to like that. Uh, it's a little deep, but this is the right shot shape. And you guys can see too, they've got these are what they call tree bunkers. So those do play as OB if you do land. Tough with that tailwind. Oh, it was a perfect shot. You missed the camera. Tripod strikes again. Yeah, they don't have it set up just yet, but it will be a raised basket. Give a little bit more, a little bit more protection on this green. This is fair to say that one of the signature holes out here. Yeah, I love this hole. This is a 495 par three. It's a really tough one to get. We got the lawn mowers here with us again. They're just following us. We're trying to, we're, we're trying to get away from them, guys. They just keep following us. I think they want to be on film too, but uh, we're, we're just honestly just trying to play the course. <laughs> get a nice feel for it. I'm gonna try to go on over the lake, cut the corner just a little bit. The big hyzer play? try to make it over the little creek that's out of bounds as well. All right. Get in. 
80 long, but better long than short. I'm gonna go for my safe play. I don't think I can get there with a buzz. To the, to yeah. The line, yeah. Unless I like really am pumping it. Well, um, Start throw the disc further because that was, you know, that's that was, a crunch that was for, pretty good. for buzz, dude. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do because I don't yeah. think in this wind I'm going to go for it. The, I told what? myself I'm only going for it if the wind is like. a little right to left spike in case it gets a little windy. Yeah, that was the other play is just like go machete. Yeah, just throw one low and let the wind rise it right to the center. That's another smart play. You got a lot of room out to the right for your upshot. Yeah. That's if it, it's super uh, Super crazy win. I definitely am going to try and go for it today, but there is a right to left wind. So if I turn it over, I'm going to make sure this up a little. We were just talking off camera too. We like how this course has separate tee pads for the FPO field. So they have the same exact shots that we have to make. See that right to left up there? Uh huh. Just pushing. Come out of it. Should be stable. Got a little tree limb. Normally she's stable. So that just means I am going to throw a layup. I thought Ricky was behind us again because I just kept hearing <laughs> chains and I turned around and it's just someone putting from five feet. So yeah, it sounds about right when you hear that. <laughs> yeah, just you're thinking rap, of Ricky every time. Rapid you know what? fire. This ain't even the safe play. This is the safe play. Oh, that's smart. Close the wind a little bit. Right. Yeah. I just let it dig in. That's the safe play. Yeah. Smart. So you can see to the drop zone, I absolutely love it. It's right there. And we can just walk over, great upshot. Great upshot. We can walk over and one of the reasons why I love this is because if you throw OB, you're you're probably not saving par. I mean, this is a this is a legitimate throw in from that distance. About 95 feet. Yeah, 95 feet or so. Did I throw that buzz too far? I think you're just right up here in the corner. I should just be, sh I should be short. Right there. Oh yeah, I'm good, okay. Go in. Go in. All right, we're getting close to some of the more beautiful looking holes out here. Oh, there will not be too many twos on this hole. There it is. But that was, that was pretty impressive to go 45 long or so. But my goodness, if you guys ever get a chance to come to Jonesboro, Arkansas, it's beautiful. you gotta check it out. If you guys didn't see, I actually just created a new YouTube channel called Brody Shorts. YouTube just came out with this kind of like their TikTok or Vine where you can just upload short videos. The link for that will be in the description down below. I'll also put it up here if you wanna go and subscribe to that. I'll be posting throwback trick shots, some disc golf tutorials. Might even post this guy just bombing a disc in slow motion. We just bomb discs so, for a living. It'll be a pretty sweet little YouTube channel where you can kind of see short clips, so go check it out. Oh, we are here, folks. Yeah, we're 315 here, par three, you can see it. You're going down? What you would normally throw mid? Yeah, normally throw mid. I'm going to the- Putter? Yeah, to a putter. Cause it is, oh my gosh, watch o out. Overstable putter. Cause tail left to right. Yeah, I'm gonna put the nose up a little bit. On the left hand side of the basket, couple little fade and finish left. Kind of like that. Exactly like that. Wow. Ooh, a little short. Kind of dropped out. Bad idea. I only practice forehand on this hole. Is that you too, Jess? Do you go forehand here I, or no? I definitely practice both. Um, right now, being that the wind, if I throw a sidearm and I expose that angle yeah, at it's all, gone. it's literally gonna take your disc and just slap it over to the right. So um, I'm I'm debating right now if I'm gonna throw a mid-range backhand, you know, turnover or fairway. Right now oh, I'm going okay. with the leopard. Yeah. 
skip. Oh, almost got across. Drop it, Wynn. Drop it. Drop it. Woo! It just kept her up there. Yeah. I'm going to try the bump up with it. I think I go drop zone no matter what, though, huh? Yes. More mid rangey here. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's perfect. Or just dude. like direct pile it into the side of the hill. Yeah. I think I should have gone more stable, too. Because that just was gliding. Yeah. Flat, hard, and direct. Oh my gosh, that might go in. Oh, good shot. Nice, I right. can pick up Kim almost. I, yeah, I almost was like, I was like, crap, should I zoom in? Could be buckets. Get in there. Oh. <laughs> but it's still higher than I want to. I want to just fillet that into. Okay. That was a good change. Yeah. 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 Hundred percent. Versus, like you have one way. Yeah, one time your day is just. Like well, also when it's windy working. too, right? Like. Yeah. All right, we made our way back to the lawnmower situation here. What's your play here, Garrett? Uh, a lot of people like to go this inside route here to the left, like before the tree. Yeah, like before this big tree right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Have it finished. Yeah. yeah. I personally like to throw something a little flippy. Draw it to the left and let it come out to the right. I like that angle over there because I just chip a hyzer up over the tree. Oh, a little hyzer chipper? So what I like to do is just smush it as hard as I can down to the tree line. Okay. That's the plan. It's always a good plan when you just want to go smush factor 5,000. Yeah. I... Anything, right of, anything left of that tree, I'm good. No, I'm fine so you're there. good. That's right where I want to be. All right. I thought I was going left, but I'm going right around. That's still fine. Get more left. Get more left. Get That's more what happens left. when you hang out with Double G. That should be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as I'm just not pinched behind that tree, I'm fine. For sure. And I think you're in a good spot, honestly. Where just for the, yeah, I go for the chip forehand second shot here. Yep. I know it was a miss, but it's a good miss. Good miss. So depending on how the wind is here. You I usually throw a sidearm down that left side. If it's a right to left wind, if it's a left to right wind, I'm gonna be throwing a backhand. Just trying to play it up as far as I can up to that left side so I can have a open second shot. Oh, that should be fine. Right where Good shot. Right. So you can see how the pin on this not the pin, sorry, the basket is tucked into this little cove of trees here. Yeah, sometimes you get up here and it's just ripping wind, so. But you do have a good gap at it. We are still all over these lawnmowers. Just slightly unfortunate when it comes to us filming, but hopefully the video is still up to your guys' quality standards. That looks pretty cheeky. Nice shot. A little tight, but I'll take it. And then you can see Garrett just absolutely crush this thing. He almost, you almost have a little sneaky gap there. And that's the cool thing about this. If I punch it really hard in a tailwind and if I get right up there. You can just throw it back in. Straight through that gap. Straight through it. So here now. You gotta go up and over. Yeah, I got a little opposed. 
nosing went a little left or right. So that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable of getting it up higher and getting the distance over the trees. Gotcha. I think that's gonna putt. Yep, right there. Yep. Nice bird. Yeah, just figure Probably out the stroke. About the putt, you know? Yeah. Hole number eight, 324. Dog leg to the right. The basket is going to be tucked in right behind that right side of those trees there. You'll see a lot of people throw four hands, and then you'll see some people that have the touch to do what Garrett's about to do, which is the turnover backhand play. It's not the greatest win for it. I'm still trying it because that's what I normally do. Couldn't tell. We'll see when we get up there. A good angle though? I, I like the angle. I think it could have been a little lower. That looks good. That's still. Grazie, grazie. 26. Yeah, like, yeah, like 25 footer. That looks really good. Great shot. Huh. Throwing way too wide. Oh, that's a dirty play. Oh! What? Get up to it. Are you kidding me? Circle. <laughs> This might be the foundation basket, which would be, oh, hit me. yeah, which would be sweet for, we like, we like it when it's like a basket that actually can get hit so we right. can donate some money. We are now walking to hole number nine. This course, honestly, as far as length goes, it's not an extremely long, long course, I would say, but the elevation really makes it quite a draining walk out here. We've only gone front nine. We haven't even gone 5,000 steps yet, but your legs will start feeling a little bit heavy with all the ups and downs out here. We're gonna go wide on this one. You won't really be able to see the full flight but this is, I would say this is one of the trickier par fours to birdie. I agree. Demanding drive. Demanding drive and then a really, really tricky green. Definitely. Yeah. It's uh, kind of blind depending on where you land. Yep. 99% well, of the spots you'll land is a blind up shot. Yeah. Looks like it's through, it's turning. And that is ripped. Gone. She gone. Do it. Oh, no. no, that's high. Okay. Well, that was just as high as his, but it didn't flip. <laughs> <laughs> I threw it about 20 miles an hour. It's too slow. Brody needed some hot boom. Oh, yeah. 
So this is a perfect segue. What uh give a little give a little promo here. What do we got? So we got double G craft jerky. We got the hot boom sauce today. Um, I've been a, a big connoisseur of jerky over the years. I started making my own jerky around the age of 16. And uh, just in the COVID season, we had a little time to ourselves. So me and a couple buddies got together and said, hey, you got some damn good jerky. Let's make it live. So uh, we went into business together. And uh, here you see I got Double G Craft Jerky and I started Double G Children's Foundation. So part of each sale goes to the foundation. And we're already getting uh, some uh, kids out there into disc golf, so. And what's the link to get some? Yeah, you can find it right about here, doubleggjerky.com. So we got four flavors. We got smash black pepper coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. We're also working with Paul Macbeth on a bigger size bag. We can't tell you all the details, but stay tuned. This hole, I swear, I, I play a backhand because I wanna land left of that tree on the right side but i really want to try a flex sidearm and see if i can get past that tree so this is practice might as well try it <laughs> am i gonna see it i didn't see it but i think it's good yeah. right next to that good. lawnmower this is not where you want to be folks not where you want to be Oh. Yeah. Easy four. We're coming over to this absolute monster drive. So far up, he almost can see the basket. Almost. It's right behind this group of trees. That should be a putt. Give me a wow, great shot. Top of the hill. Ooh, good run. Go in. Oh, got me all jacked up a Mountain Dew over here. Ooh. Tricky part of the green. Yeah, these. If you go for the for the birdie, you might have your uphill putt coming at you. Definitely a lot of decisions out in this course, which I enjoy thoroughly. Makes you have to play some golf. Well, there you have it, folks. That is going to wrap it up on the front nine out here at Jonesboro. Some incredible holes, but the back nine gets even better. So make sure you stick around to that. Make sure you follow Garrett and Jess on their social medias. Pick up some beef jerky. All that will be linked in the description down below. And we'll see you guys in the back nine. Keep slinging them discs.